What do mosquitoes and coral have in common? Well, they're both part of research by the Nature Conservancy in a remote area called the Palmyra Atoll. We're learning why the work done in this marine conservation area, roughly 1,000 miles south of the state, is important for Hawaii. Joining us now is Katie Franklin. She is the Palmyra Science Manager. Thank you for being with us on Living It Away. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, we're, we're talking today about uh, Palmyra, the atoll. Can you tell us a little bit about the Palm Palmyra Atoll and the Nature Conservancy's role in it? Palmyra Atoll is arguably one of the most remote locations in the world. It's located about a thousand miles south of Hawaii and was likely included in historic Polynesian voyaging routes. However, it never had a permanent establishment of people, unlike Hawaii, obviously. In the year 2000, the Nature Conservancy purchased Palmyra to protect it as a globally significant island ecosystem and facilitate the creation of one of the world's largest marine conservation areas. TNC's Palmyra Preserve is now part of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service National Wildlife Refuge and is surrounded by 13 million acres of protected ocean as part of a marine national monument with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Can you tell me what's unique about Palmyra and, and the research that's being done there? Of course. Palmyra's abundance and diversity show what a truly healthy island and coral reef should look like. The reefs are dominated by large predators and fish, including sharks and other predators, which abound right up to the shoreline. On land, one of the world's best remaining tropical Pisonia grandis forest rainforest stands, which is home to thousands of seabirds and crawling with at least 10 species of land crabs that are absent or rare on islands elsewhere. One of the most amazing aspects about Palmyra is its resilience. In 2015, unusually high ocean temperatures killed millions of corals from Australia to Hawaii. Remarkably, many of Palmyra's reefs recovered within two years, demonstrating impressive resilience. Understanding what makes these reefs so strong and sharing these lessons can help other coral reefs survive and thrive in a changing climate. Okay, you know what, can you tell me the connection between Hawaii and Palmyra? Sure, of course. Well, Palmyra truly is very unique. Its unique geography, history, and wildness are felt when you first arrive. Today, TNC's Palmyra program and TNC, the Nature Conservancy's Hawaii-based programs, are part of the same family, and we share resources, science management, and team members. The lessons that we learn at Palmyra about what keeps coral reefs and tropical islands healthy in the face of climate change will help managers here in Hawaii make choices and decisions to help reefs and natural areas locally thrive and recover. Palmyra is a perfect place to test these new ideas and methods that can help islands everywhere. We're working to unlock the secrets that make Palmyra's ecosystem resilient to climate change and sharing those with islands across the Pacific and around the world, including here in Hawaii. Would you mind sharing a little bit of the information about the Mosquito Project and how that uh, is you know, relevant to Hawaii? This is a project I'm really excited to share about because it has direct impl implications to protecting Hawaii's native species. First, a little background information. Mosquitoes carry and spread disease for both humans and wildlife across the globe, including diseases that affect Hawaii and Palmyra's native forest birds. Hawaii and Palmyra have no native mosquito species, meaning that all mosquitoes present have been introduced via human activities. What this means is that historically, the native species of Hawaii and Palmyra did not face the threat of diseases carried by mosquitoes. Diseases like avian pox and malaria that are transmitted by mosquitoes are a major factor in the decline of Hawaii's native and endangered forest birds, such as the kiwi or Maui parrotbill. However, habitat for this rare bird and other native forest birds in Hawaii is essentially shrinking as a result of climate change. We plan to test a type of mosquito control method at Palmyra that we hope can inform efforts in Hawaii to suppress mosquito populations that are driving Hawaii's endangered forest birds to extinction. The lessons learned from the Mosquito Project at Palmyra will inform a team of scientists, conservationists, and land managers here in Hawaii called the Hawaii Birds Not Mosquitoes Program in implementing a mosquito suppression project that could help save endangered forest birds like the kiwi and other birds from extinction. 
wanted to say thank you for all that information. I, there's a mm -hmm. lot of stuff I didn't know, and so I'm sure there's some things that uh, some of our viewers don't know about. If they want more information, is there a website that you can give us uh, for folks to learn a little more? Sure. You can go to nature.org backslash Hawaii or nature.org backslash Palmyra. Katie, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it, and, and good luck with the project. Thank you very much. Looks, um, I mean, the Palmyra Atoll, it, there's no uh, inhabitants except for, for scientists. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, the life that, that is surrounding the atoll is just amazing. It's beautiful, and that's kind of the point. You want to keep it that way as much yeah. as possible, and lessons learned there to take and preserve what we have here as well. I'd be like, I'm, I'll take a boat and visit. <laughs> I wouldn't mind snorkeling. But, I mean, there is some important research that is being done about climate change and, and mosquitoes mm -hmm. and... Uh, that could help everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely.